Hi, I'm Mark Romanek, and welcome to another episode of Fishing 411. On today's program, I'm going to introduce you to not just one charter captain, not just two charter captains, but three charter captains that collectively have over 100 years of experience fishing the Great Lakes. Our goal today is to catch some trout and salmon. It's the first week of May, and stick around because the fins are going to fly in Fishing 411. It starts right now. Offshore Tackle presents Mark Romanak's Fishing 411. Mark Romanex Fishing 411 is brought to you by Offshore Tackle, Okuma, Show Span, J Sporting Goods, Evan Rood, Starcraft Marine, Burt's Custom Tackle, and by Salmo and Precision Angling. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. Oh! oh. <laughs> Looks like the screw is going to win today. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, what in the world are you guys doing? Deciding whose boat we're going to take today. <laughs> oh no, I, I, can, I can see what today is going to be all about. I yes. can see what it's going to be all about. All right, so it's it's Jerry's boat. All right, it's a sea yeah. screw. It's, we're agreed. Chip, get the rods out. We're going all right. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into today? Stick around, we'll find out. You know, in this particular program, we didn't have one guest or two guests or three guests. We actually had four guests. They're all charter captains. Three of them make their living as charter captains, and one makes his living selling fishing lures and manufacturing fishing lures, but he also is a captain. Those four individuals collectively have so much knowledge about fishing trout and salmon in the Great Lakes, it's just mind-boggling to me. More than 100 years of actual experience. They were there at the beginning, and they're still very successful um, in, you know, in showing people how to catch fish right to modern day. Captain Ron Levitan uh, from Milford, Michigan, running R&D sport fishing charters called the Boats to Pass in Time. Uh, we're running out of uh, Toledo Beach Marina in the spring and then here on uh, in the fall. Uh, my name's Captain Steve Martin. I've been chartering for over 20 years. Uh, the name of the boat's My High Fishing Charters. Uh, I start the season in St. Joe. Um, I kind of follow the fish around. I fish St. Joe for a month and a half. And then uh, middle of last week of May, I move over to Lake Erie, fish from the last week of May to the middle of July uh, out of Luna Pier Harbor Club. I'm Captain Jerry Lee, jerrysportfishing.com, jerryleesportfishing.com. Um, I've been a full-time dirty boat captain now. This is my 28th season. We were fishing St. Joe here in the spring, in April and May. I do walleyes out of Lake Erie in the month of May and June and into July. And then we retreat to Ludington for the midsummer late fall salmon fi fishing up through mid-September. Well, you know, in addition to the three charter captains we've got on board today, we actually have a fourth guest, uh, Chip Cartwright from Wolverine Tackle. And the reason I invited Chip is because about the only thing that these three charter captains can actually agree on is what spoon they prefer fishing. And Chip, of course, you're the guy that's behind the Wolverine Silver Streak. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having us. It's going to be a fun day if uh, we can referee the three of these guys and get them going pretty good, but it should be a fun day on the water. Referee, now that's your job, that's right? That's my job. All right, your job. I'm hosting, you're refereeing. Okay, now we got it all together. I keep the boy straight. <laughs> Well, we're heading out the channel, and today we're fishing out of the sister cities of St. Joe and Benton Harbor. If you know anything about Lake Michigan and their spring salmon fishing, this is kind of the hub of where it happens. 
Um, all the salmon migrate to the southern end of the lake in the wintertime, and then in the spring they start this migration back north. Now some of these fish come up the Michigan shoreline where we're at, and that's what we're going to catch today. Oh, divers, we got some copper lines going out, some leg cars, we'll be running some riggers, a uh, little hodgepodge, everything. Covering basically from about 10 feet down to uh, old 50, 60 feet. <laughs> it's pretty obvious to me that with this many cooks in the kitchen, we don't need another one at the back of the boat. So I'm gonna kind of back off for a second here and just sort of set the plate and try to explain to you folks a little bit what's going on here. If there's one word that's gonna describe what's gonna to happen today, it's versatility. We're going to be doing a lot of different things. We're going to have lead core on boards out to the side, some copper lines on boards out to the side. We're going to have diving planers um, in the corners. We're going to have lead core um, running straight out the back. We're going to have downriggers here working. We're going to have spoons. We're going to have stick baits. We're going to have a wide variety of stuff, even some rotators and flies in the water today. So a little bit of everything, and hopefully the fish will tell us what they like best. Fishing 411 is brought to you in part by Schrade Knives and Tools. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. This is where we hunt. This is where we buy. We live it, we know it, we sell it. Jay's Sporting Goods because no one knows more about what you need. It's the tradition of Jay's. Insist on Salmo. 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 Insist on Salmo because they work. Salmo lures are the only crankbaits in America backed with a lifetime performance guarantee. Insist on Salmo. Insist on Salmo. Insist on Salmo. You got to insist on Salmo. You won't be disappointed. Check us out at salmofishing.com. Smooth. Not smooth. At StarCraft Marine, we've been perfecting the ride for over 100 years. So we practically invented smooth. Your ride is waiting at your local StarCraft dealer. Fishing 411 with Mark Romanek is brought to you in part by Silver Streak Lures. Wow. Hey, he's tugging. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Struck gold here. Woohoo! I believe this is copper. Man, it is just thumping. Get a net ready, you think? I don't know. You think I'm that lucky? You get them out them or release them? Well, let's, let's, let's see if we can touch him first. How's that sound? Okay. <laughs> Reach out and touch someone? It's kind of like shark fishing. If you touch them, it's, it's considered a catch. Let's see if I can get him around that rod there. I think I got him. 
just about the time you think you got these fish under control. There you go. All right, he's in the bag. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! That's a pretty good start. Ten minutes on the water, first king in the box. Probably a two-year-old, you guys? Two-year-old? Two-year-old fish? Yeah. Two and a half, three-year-old. Two and a half, three-year-old? Nice start for spring king. Good way to go. All right, I got my lunch. I don't know what you guys are going to do. Well, timing on this particular trip is the first week of May. And most people, when they think of salmon fishing, they don't think of May. They think that salmon is something that happens in July and August. And it's true that some of the bonsai fishing of the year does happen in July and August and in September. But the truth of the matter is, is that you can catch, you know, trout and salmon in the Great Lakes year round. And this king fishery and this coho fishery that we've been enjoying the last few years, you can get them right out of the chute right in April. And you can catch them all the way up until September. So it is a very long season. Uh, and a bunch of fish out there to be caught. Bring it in for it. Try to keep them out of the middle lines there. You got a good taste of polo cap chip? Yep, this is tender vittles. I think you keep them out of them divers. Jerry he keeps turning, man. <laughs> Tell Cap, straighten the boat out. <laughs> nah. We'll get them. What color is that? I don't know, Jerry set this one. Your side of the boat, you don't know what color it is. Oh, the, the pro oh, release! <laughs> At least you're gonna see what color it was. Stevie, Jerry, your lunch just Way to went go, back Stevie, to the drink. Make sure we don't, they don't get too far ahead of us. <clears throat> My lunch is looking much better now. I slid, I slid them too fast. Uh, that fish came off. This is a, a mini streak. It's called an antifreeze watermelon. Uh, that was running on the main line. We're running two lines on these. A, a slider line too, a free slider today. They're fishing pretty shallow, so uh, these fish are up schooling around. So we'll run free slider on there and, and see where we go. That, that fish actually came on the main line. How deep was that, Jer? 18. 18 down, so fishing pretty high today. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Looks like a slider, huh? Uh oh. Huh? Oh, uh, I got a shook. He's in that high diver, guys. There we go. Double header, boys. No, he's in that high diver. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie gets the fish. Oh, I don't know, I need a bigger net for Ronnie. No, I was going to say, Ron, this is, this is an amazing fish you're around, guys. You're going to hit that high. <laughs> Someone help me with the net. <laughs> All right, maybe not the biggest fish in the sea. And I'll tell you what, it is going to be good eating. Wonderful. Yeah, nice job, yeah, guys. Yeah. <laughs> just like you've done it a thousand times. All right. These, these fish kind of just been showing up today, I think. You know, we've been catching a lot of four-year-olds, and I've been wondering where the two- and three-year-olds are. Looks like some of them are starting to show up now, following that bait fish in and coming up off bottom. All right, see if I can kind of bring us up to speed here. That was a double header, but technically Ronnie's fish was so small, we're going to count that as a fish and a half. So, because it really, it really wasn't two real fish, just a fish and a half. But Steve came through here with a really, really nice king. So two nice kings and, and Ronnie's a half a fish at this point. Mark Romanek's Fishing 411 is brought to you in part by the O.J. Herman Company. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. How deep are your lures fishing? If you don't know, you need precision trolling. The new Pro Edition features hundreds of dive curve charts for the most popular brands and models of crankbaits. If you fish diving planers, snap weights, leg core, or copper line, you need the Big Water Edition too. No matter what species you're after, precision trolling offers the ultimate in depth control fishing. Precision trolling is available at outdoor retailers, 
or at www.precisionangling.com. Mark Romanax Fishing 411 is brought to you in part by Walker Deeper Diver. This is too far out. You're a fish hog. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Ronnie. Oh. Ronnie, you want to make up? Here, Ronnie, you want to make up? No, 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 no. Not my <laughs> turn. Yeah, no, no, no. Keep going. It's a nice king. <laughs> oh. What am I going to tell you? <laughs> It's, it's that kind of crew. It's that kind of crew. When you get this kind of talent, you can't get anybody to reel a fish in. It's a, it's a bad thing. I, I was first, but Chip still got to catch one. It's your turn. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. He's going. He's going. <laughs> We got an Energizer King here. Yeah, we usually go to commercial break when we catch one on lead core. It's going to be a while, folks, before this one comes to that. Well, it's, it's just added method. The downriggers to the diver. We got the, the planer boards out. They can spread them out. Or add more lines, more effective. The weighted line, it's just. Uh, Gets away from the boat if the fish are high, the fish are spooked. So, just gives us a little more versatility and throw, throw some more methods at him. There you go, Another Chipper. One. Get him, get him. I think he's on the stack. Trip it off. There. Right there. All right. Let's see, if nice I can, junkie code there. see if I can knock one off at the net here. I'll be a little more gentle on this one. We got that other lure whipping around there. Still, any way you slice it, good solid fishing action. Ah, we got him in the bag. Good job, Chip. Yeah. All right. We got him. Oh, that's a nice fish, Jerry. Good job. Yeah. Man, that is what we're looking for right there. Look at the belly on that, baby. Are you talking about me or the fish? Fish on right there. Another one. Another fish. Step forward there. Oh, the middle copper's going. <laughs> nice fish. Still on the smaller variety we've been getting. Big, some nice 13 to 15 pounders. This one might be about 11. That's a nice chunky coal we got there, too. Real chunky coal. Better than that half of one run he got, wasn't it? All right. It's almost comical when you look at a Great Lakes trolling boat because when these boats are leaving the pier heads and you know when they're driving out to the lake to fish, they look like porcupines. I mean, there's rods sticking out everywhere. You know, and we were running more than a dozen rods. In some cases, you know, we were running much more than a dozen rods. In the state of Michigan, you're allowed three lines per person. Other states allow that as well. So, you know, you can fish a lot of lines. Well, most people would look at that and say, why? That just looks like it's very confusing, very difficult to master. Actually, right. the ability to run all those lines is a special skill because when you can run lots of lines, you can do lots of different things. You can be fishing different depths, you can be fishing different lures, you can fish in different colors. And all that comes together to be able to wire a pattern or figure out what the fish want quickly. And that's really the secret to Great Lakes trolling because there's a ton of water out there and the only practical way to cover it is with lots of lines. We need to make it for the tournament this weekend, but he'll do. Mark Romanax Fishing 411 is brought to you in part by Bait Rigs Tackle and by Eskimo Ice Shelters. Attention outdoor enthusiasts. Outdoor Rama, Michigan's premier hunting and fishing show, comes to the Rock Financial Showplace, February 25th to the 28th. 
in the same building at the same time and for the same mission price, check out the third annual Cottage and Lakefront Living Show. Together, these amazing outdoor venues cover everything outdoors. Big buck night, fishing, hunting, hiking, canoeing, fly time, mushroom hunting, boating, bird watching, rock climbing, wood carving, taxidermy, cooking. Wow, they are really hitting today. I'm twitching a six inch worm through the stumps. How about you? Same. Pumpkin seed or chartreuse? Chartreuse. That's a funny word. I wonder where they got that from. France. France. Hmm. You seem kind of quiet. You want to talk about it? A woman will say 21 million words before an Evan Rudy tech needs maintenance. Nope. A man will say 7 million. Only Evan Rudy tech goes three years without dealer scheduled maintenance. They are really hitting today. Mark Romanak's Fishing 411 is brought to you in part by Anchor Wizard. Well, interestingly enough, with several fish in the box now, we have not caught a fish on a body bait yet, which is a little bit surprising because in the springtime now, that's a classic lure for catching salmon. Uh, everything's been coming on spoons, um, and this antifreeze watermelon seems to be the hot color today for whatever reason. Um, obviously, the other baits that have gone have had some greens on them as well, so it seems that it's a kind of a green thing this morning. And uh, who knows, maybe it'll change. But for right now, that's what's producing fish, and that's what's going back in the water. What we're playing with this year is, is we're, we're working on some of the new stuff for next year. Uh, the big addition this year is we're playing with a lot of UV stuff. Um, all those biologists and everything say the fish are seen in the UV spectrum now, so we're playing with a lot of that. Um, we actually have, if you look here, you can show it on this flodger here. You can really pick up the UV on that. Um, this is actually a UV tape that we're playing on spoons, and we just caught a fish on that. Um, then you can see the difference between the two blue dolphins. This one is a UV and this one is the plain blue dolphin. You can really see how that lights up and uh, the other one doesn't. Nice spring king here, Mark. I tell you what, I, that fish was just hammering, man. I, I watched you, he had a hard time getting that rod out of the holder. You can barely get it out of the rod holder. Just let him, let him do the work right now. You can't even, you can't even get a control on it. Now this is a little different flavor. This one was on a diver, right? This is on a high diver. Yeah, we've been getting them on copper, we've got them on lead core, we've got them on the riggers. I think this might be the first one we've got on a diver. We've got one or maybe no, two no, fish on No, 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 my half plank came on. Oh, that's it. So you're redeeming yourself I with this am, one. I'm redeemed. All right. You know, Ronnie, usually when I'm fishing with you on your boat, you're, you're doing the honors for me while I'm fighting one. It's kind of nice to do the honors for you. I like this. Now, which end of this net do I hang on to? I got him in the bucket. He's in the bag. Man, is that a big fish. Fantastic spring kings. Look at that. 14, 15 pounder, just nice and healthy, eating real well. This could be the tournament fish, boys, if I was here for the weekend. <laughs> The other interesting thing about these four gentlemen is that I've known them the majority of my adult life. I trust them, I, I've watched them work all the time, i fished with each and every one of them on their boats, and I know that what they know about fishing is among the best. I guess a couple uh, spring tips that I have for the guys is we run a lot of regular streaks in the spring and a lot of mini streaks. Um, optimum you know, lead length for me on my boat with my presentations on a mini streak is five to eight feet. I hardly ever stretch it out farther than that. Um, it seems to be my best you know, lead is five to eight foot off the downrigger ball. Um, the regular, you could I stretch it out maybe a little bit farther, maybe 10, 12 feet. When we're running in a tractor, a Dodger, a rigger, cowbells, anything we're running, a tractor wise or a spin doctor, we'll take the stacker, put that clip around the main line, and then we'll take this, the orange offshore, which is tight tension, and put that on the bait like so. Now, if that fish hits that stacker, we can almost, you know, unless it's a super big fish, it will kind of slide down. But we can pretty much keep this away from that flodger by pinning it up there like that. Probably the best tip I can give the folks is when we get into the fish, they're gonna pick a certain color. And what we do is we load up on that color. We'll, if we're running five or six uh, uh, of, of rods, whether they're on divers or, or lead core or on the downriggers, we'll use the same color and just a few different variations. But if they're picking out the greens or the chartreuses or the blues, that's what we load up on. All right, now it's just me, Sawyer, the fish, and a whole bunch of copper wire. Oh, 
<laughs> I love it. This is so much fun. It really is a lot of fun. Very cool stuff here. Freshwater shark on here. Look at that. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. You know, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our captains today. You know, we fished with Ron Levitan, we fished with Captain Jerry Lee, we also fished with Captain Steve Martin, and I'd also like to thank Chip Cartwright from Wolverine Tackle for kind of refereeing all those things. My name is Mark Romanek. You're watching Fishing 411. Join us here next week for more action like this. Closed captioning for Mark Romanek's Fishing 411 is provided by Vicious Fishing Line. Mark Romanek's Fishing 411 is brought to you by Offshore Tackle, Okuma, Show Span, J Sporting Goods, Evan Rude, Starcraft Marine, Burt's Custom Tackle, and by Salmo and Precision Angling. Get him in there, get him in there. Oh, what a fish. Good job, Lawrence. What a fish. <laughs> I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. What a spectacular fish. Let me grab him out of the net here real quick. Oh, what a beauty. Let me put him on the tape here real quick. Looks like 39 and a half or so.